situation you would not move your hand around but both turnarounds are great exercises and it's a stepping stone these such an exercise is a stepping stone to uh, to more melodic playing because I actually play all the chords okay let's take a close look at these uh, arpeggios and the first one is an A minor arpeggio A minor 7 starting here in the seventh fret with a third finger <laughs> And now I put my first finger down as a bar here, fifth fret the third string, uh, the second string, and second string the eight, uh, eighth fret. So until now we have, and here I hit the first string, I still have it, a bar here, and second string the uh, fifth fret. Again, second uh, string uh, slide from the eighth to the tenth fret. Let me try to play that uh, with, so you can uh, remove my finger. These are the notes, but I put down the first finger as a bar here. So I start with two down strokes. After that it's mainly up and down strokes. Uh, but you can find your own way to, to play it so it gets smooth. Try to play it real slow at, at the start. As a start. And then take it up in tempo afterwards. And for the D, I simply go up where you have the D up here in the in the 10th fret, 10th to 12th. And I play exactly the same thing and we go back to the A minor 7. And here we have two A minor 7 in the, in the, at the end of the first line. And on, on the second one I make some, some small, small solo lines. Now we go to the second line of the blues, two, two times D, and back to A minor. Again some solo lines, and now we move up to F7 arpeggio, 
dominant seven up here to suddenly starting in the 15th fret with the third finger on the fourth string Starts on the 15th fret, 14th, 13th, 16th, 13th, 13th, and a slide from the 16th to the 18th fret, F7, and you do the same thing one, uh, one note down. It's chromatic, like, instead of starting. On the uh, 15th, you start this one on the 14th, and back to. That's uh, these last chords I make is an E7 sharp nine that you're probably familiar with. That one is a Jimi Hendrix chord. Okay, let's take a close look at the second turnaround. And the only thing uh, that is different is that I, instead of playing down here, I play the same thing up here. Starting on the 12th fret, the 5th string with your 4th finger, 3rd finger here on the 4th string, 1st finger here on the 3rd string, Again on the 3rd string, 12th fret, and I move back here to the 3rd string, the, uh, the ninth fret, and then on the 12th, on the 12th fret, 3rd string, you lay, make a slide with a 4th finger. You have to get used to, it's a little more different, uh, difficult to play it as, as the other one. Excuse me. Okay, and the rest uh, now we have. I can try to play it through here. D minor, the usual one. And now we come to the two A's. And on the second one, I make some uh, leaks to fill the space there. And then go to the second line. Back to the A minor. And move up to the F7. It's the same as before. Back to the A minor. 